Today, let's work on matching clocks and time. Which of these clocks shows 1145? I'm gonna use this scratch pad just to show you here that this 11 is my hour and the 45 is my minutes. So we're gonna look here in these clocks. The first number is also the hour and the second set of numbers is the minutes. So if I look, well, this one looks just like this one. So let's close that scratch pad and hit 1145. Which of these clocks shows 815? Well, this one's a little bit different. So 815, so we know that our hour is eight and our minutes are 15. So clocks work a little bit differently. Each clock has two hands. They have this thick hand here, it's called our hour hand, it's the shorter hand. And then this long hand here is called our minute hand. Our hours and our minutes work a little bit differently on a clock. So the numbers you see on the outside represent the hours. So in this case, the hour is after the seven, but not quite to the eight, so this would be seven. But then our minutes work in increments of five around the clock. So if you look here, this would be zero. And if we count one, two, three, four, this would be five, six, seven, eight, nine, this would be 10. So they all count by fives at the big number. So 15, this one would be 20, this one would be 25, and so on and so on. So this hour hand would be after the seven before the eight, and the minute hand is on 15. So this one is 715. So this one is close, except our hours don't match. So now we're looking for an hour hand that is past the eight, but not quite to the nine. So if I look here, this is past the eight, but not quite to the nine. And our minute hand, zero, 10, oh, zero, five. It's okay to make mistakes sometimes. Zero, five, 10, and 15. So this one shows 815. So we're gonna close that, click that clock. Which of these clocks shows 445? So remember our hour hand is four. So we wanna look for a clock that is, the hour hand is past the four, but not quite to the five. So our hour hand here is at the 11, after the 11, not to the 12. So that can't be right. This one, our hour hand is directly at the 12, so that can't be right. This one, our hour hand is at after the nine, but not quite to the 10, so the hour would be nine, so that can't be right. Well, this one says four, so let's double check that this is correct, four. Well, if I keep drawing this line down, it's after the four, but not quite to the five, so it's the hour is four o'clock. And if we count it around the clock, zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, so the nine here would be 45. So this clock shows four, 45. So let's close that scratch pad, 445. Which of these clocks shows 1145? So a digital clock is a little bit easier to read than an analog clock, and those are the ones we just did. So 1145 needs to match exactly, and this one right here does. So we're gonna close that and hit 1145. Now we're back to those analog clocks again. So scratch pad here, which of these clocks shows two o'clock? So the hour has to be exactly on the two. So let's look here. This one is not quite to the two. So this would be an hour of one o'clock. It's past the one, but not quite to the two. This one here, let's follow the big hand. Well, it's after the eight, but not quite to the nine. So this one is eight o'clock. We said this one is one o'clock. Well, this one, the hour hand is after the nine, but not quite to the 10. So that can't be right. So let's just double check. This one says two. Look, it is exactly on the two. And two o'clock, or exactly 
at that time means that the minute hand is pointed to the 12. So let's close that scratch pad, two o'clock. 4.45, which of these clocks shows 4.45? Which one looks just like this? 8.30, 1.45, 2.15, 4.45. Which of these clocks show 615? So let's go ahead and let's count. This one's three o'clock, this one's six o'clock, this one's 615, and this one's seven. So if that's the case, then 615 here is correct. Let's close. Nice work. Which of these clocks shows the time 345? So we wanna look for the one that matches. This one is 545, so that's not right. 10 o'clock. That's not right. 12 o'clock, that's not right. 3.45, that's right. So let's close that. There we go. Which of these clocks shows the time 2.15? So scratch pad, this is 4.15, not correct. 8.30, not correct. 2.15, well that sounds right. Let's double check our last one. 10.15, that one's not right. So let's close, 2.15, nice work. Last one, which of these clocks shows the time 4.15? So our hour is four, remember that the small hand is the four. So if we look here at our smaller hand, this one goes after the seven, but not quite to the eight. So this means the hour is seven, so that's not right. Let's start here. This one, the hour is exactly on the seven, so the hour is still seven here. That's not right. This one, let's follow the hour. The hour is after the four, but it's not quite to the five. Well, the hour's correct here. So now let's check the minutes. Remember that we count the minutes by five. So zero, five. This one would be 10. This one is 15. Is our minute hand lined up? If we follow our minute hand, it is. So this one is 415. Let's just double check this one here. This one shows that the hour hand is directly on the one. So that one would not be correct. So let's close that scratch pad. Nice work. We've done a great job matching clocks and time.